Hey guys, what's going on? It's that time again. We have a really sick day again. I don't know what it is, but like today just kind of turned around completely for me. So it didn't start off that well. Hold on, what am I doing here? Um, actually, let me let me explain some things. So the day did not start off that well because I was super pissed off. I got here late and I was I I didn't realize ABIO surged past yesterday's highs i thought it was done yesterday like i thought it was done here and then i see it and it's already up here and it's pulled back and i'm thinking like well okay this isn't my setup anymore maybe at the open i could have gotten in but i was i was pissed off that i missed this and then i was pissed off that i missed dffn or not dffn i traded dffn it was uh ears i think yeah, ears. So ears went from 450 to 650, and I'm like, oh, the one time I'm not here, it it everything goes to the moon without me. So actually, wow, the spy is really tanking right now. Let me show you this. So I guess one of the first trades I'll go over is the spy, because I actually have to pay attention to this right now. Um, I'm still in the spy, if you see here. Where is my activity? Where is it here? Why is it not here? Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> you can see here, I'm still in the spy and we had a fat win on it. Uh, I still have one contract. I initially had uh, 15 contracts and I'll show you where I got those. Why is that hidden behind the other window? Anyways, so I was looking to go short on the spy. And first, you know, it didn't work out at first. Uh, where's the... Let's blow this up a little bit here. Um, so I was first buying my contracts at 10.06. 10.06 is right here. So 10.06 is right here. Boom. Right on this candle. I thought that we were done with this double top. But then it turned into like a triple top. Like this actually turned into a uh, a flag, and then it it busted through. So I thought it was done there, but we actually came up to the two ninety two sixty level, and I got that level from the daily here. You can see it doesn't it didn't really respect it here, uh, but it definitely did here. It's the pre market highs and shorting pre market highs is always a good strategy. Um, it's or it's a it's a higher probability strategy. So in this area though, I was down like 120, 130 and I was like I was only up 110 or one something on DFFN and I was like am I seriously going to get stopped out of this position because I went too big too early? Like seriously? Um oh my god, the spy I don't even know when to take this contract. Like I thought I was going to take it at 290, but maybe I should take it at 290. Okay, so uh I took my last contract on the spy there at 290. That was my target. Sorry, this this is already kind of getting flustered this video because I don't I didn't expect a spy to do that so quickly. So anyways, I'm totally locked in now on the SPY. See, I'll just bring this back over. <clears throat> you saw earlier the position was 1. Now the position is 0. I locked it in. I got my day completely done. And now this thing is going to keep dropping without me. I guarantee it. It's going to go... It's going to, like, double from here. Like, the uh, the puts are going to double from here. So let's just get back to the trade. I was buying the puts in this area for the big rejection uh, of this area. And yesterday, the low was 291 that's where I got that level and then 292 was the day before's low so I knew that those were both big levels and I wanted my entry to be somewhere up here now I got it a little too early I think I might show this in the video um, does it show me buying contracts no it doesn't okay so again I was buying them up in here so I keep saying the same thing over and over I was buying them in here and I was just waiting. Now the first time I sold them was 1051. So 1051 if we go to the 1 minute is right here. 
52, 51, right as it comes down to that first 292 level. And then I was just selling in there. Sorry, I had to restart the video there. Someone was making a lot of noise outside. But holy moly, the SPY just absolutely dumped after I sold that contract. I missed out on like $30 on that contract. Not a big deal. So, so when I re-added here, I was using the one minute. Or I was using like the just the wick here of this five minute. And I, I pretty much top ticked it. I got in at 292 exactly like wherever the contract was at the time. And then this went to 292 and one cent. And then it immediately reversed. And then I was selling again at uh, 1103, 1121, 1103. Where is that? 1103 down as we broke through this low. And then I was holding, holding, holding. I held all the way to the next target of 1121. 21. Right here I sold. I should have re-added again because I added here just to sell here. This was the perfect re-add here and I would have made like... I would have made like thousands of dollars if, but you know i'm learning i didn't quite manage this properly but i did get a nice little ad in here um it's just i if i was thinking higher time frame i should have added in here for this move down here and then you know even an ad back up towards 291 for the break lower it was perfect but you know i just had one contract or three contracts or something that whole time if you can see you know getting in here at 76 cents and selling up towards the 80s 90s and then re-adding and then selling i only had three contracts through this whole thing and my initial position size was 15 contracts a dollar on 15 contracts is 1500 bucks and that would have been from here to here my first sell if i had had full size 1500 bucks but i only had one so let's say well i did i re-added them here so 90 99 or 98 to a dollar 50 it's like 50 60 cents on one contract that's 50 or 60 bucks i had three so you know i was just adding or no i was just selling at each kind of top here so i think that was good that was a very well managed trade maybe of course i could have kind of milked it for more by adding but you know I won't be too hard on myself because I bet there's people that lost money or they they didn't get good entries or good exits I think my entries and my exits were fine I maybe just should have tried to milk it for a bit more seeing the potential that it had but I don't know if if you know next time I'll add and then I'll get stopped out on the way up so it's it's really hard to say how I would have done this differently or how I'm gonna do it differently next time um, but anyways, that was the spy. I'm all out of the spy now. I, like I said, I got out, um, on film earlier, I think what, right in here. And it went down all the way almost to 289.50 and now we're bouncing. So I'm all out. I'm flat on everything. And the other trade was DFFN. Now DFFN is live. So I will show that. Where is that here? DFFN. Now, DFFN, on the other hand, I'm not so proud of. I got filled, and then I got flashed down, and I I missed the trade on the way up, so I tried to get filled on the way down, and I'm, I wasn't thinking straight, because usually on the way down, after the way up, it just goes all the way back down to these support levels here. And I'm just here holding, like I'm holding through this, and I'm thinking under 350, there's absolutely no excuse. I have to get out no matter what. Like, and I'll take the loss. I'll say I lost 300 bucks on the video. And I'll just chalk it up as me being an idiot. So, you know, I was lucky that it didn't go under 350. And it came all the way back up. Uh, I was waiting for a break of high of day to sell. I wasn't going to sell right here just at my entry. I'm thinking if it breaks 410, I'm going to sell 500 shares. Because we have room up here, you know, towards 450. So there, 4, 
24 I see. I put 500 shares up, and I get filled all of them. 424. I think the high there was 426 or 7. So I think that was a really, really good trade. Uh, other than my entry, like I should have been adding down in these support levels. Not here. This is no man's land. I need to not buy in here. There's no reason to buy. Um, so, you know, I'm not perfect. I still make a bunch of trading errors, and that's one of them. Uh, I think that boils down more to just patience and discipline. Like, if I just had to have the patience and the discipline to wait for support, then I would have been fine. And on 700 shares, from, let's say, 360, 370, up to 420, that's 50, 60 cents. That's more like three, four hundred dollars rather than 150. So it's all about patience. It's all about following your plan. And I eventually get out. I'll, I'll just show you the chart. Um, okay, it's not going to change. DFFN. So yeah, I just. I got that sell and then I sold again I'm selling on support you know I should be adding I should be buying on support not selling it just it made it all the way back up and then I didn't get in until after the halt and this is where I successfully bought on support let's show you the five second chart here this is where I successfully bought on support and was selling up uh, into resistance so I let the range kind of play out here and then there was uh, sorry I don't have it on the live video because uh, this was like way after 10 o'clock. I had stopped the video. Anyways, I saw like 10, 20, 30,000 shares on the bid here at 450. So I pressed the buy on the bid and I got filled at 459 right at this halt level. And then as we broke through the high of day, which was right here, I just sold. Like the second I it broke through, I just hit sell. And... That was only for 200 shares. I got out at 485, you can see here. And then that was that. I was done with that. That was a very quick trade. I added like 20, 40, 50, 60 dollars of profit. Um, I was only up like 110, and now I'm up 164 on that. And then of course DFFN just keeps going without me, and it just it breaks out and goes all the way to six bucks. So. Started the day off with a little bit of frustration, but I think it's still an improvement because with that frustration, I guess I just held longer than I should have, but I didn't start over trading. I didn't start adding. I just I just waited and I sold where I should have. Uh, and then the spy came along and the spy took care of me. You know, the, the spy was really nice to me today. So again, let's see what it's doing. So... Looks like we're double bottoming at 289.50. We might make a move higher now up to like 291 again. I actually sh probably should have taken calls there. I don't know if I would have, but that does look like a good spot to double bottom. We'll see by the time this is uploaded uh, if it makes it back to, I would say at least this level here, 290.50. Or maybe 291 but this would be a, a really really good opportunity to make you know 50 60 70 percent on an options contract because they move pretty quick so we'll see where it's at later today uh, other than that guys thanks for watching we had a really really sick day today and you know I have some things to work on my patience my discipline but then when the spy came around you know, I had the patience. I had the discipline. I wasn't selling in here. I did not sell anywhere in here. I sold at 11.21, right here at my target. And then, you know, I sold the last contract or whatever somewhere down here. That is patience. That is discipline. I just have to work now on my ads. Uh, but I already went over all of that, so I won't keep going on with it. You guys have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.